Hello class, this is a, a problem from your 6.7 homework. And in this section, we are using the normal distribution to approximate a binomial distribution. So the way this works is, if both of these things are true, okay, uh, then we can use the normal uh, distribution to approximate the binomial. But we need to make sure both of these things are true. So n times p is greater than 5, n times q is greater than 5. So n is 13, p is a half, so we multiply 13 times 0.5, so that's n times p, and we get 6.5, that is greater than 5, and then q is 1 minus p, and if p is 0.5, then q is 0.5 also, so n times q would be the same thing. So we, we, in both cases, we're greater than or equal to 5, so we're good to use a normal distribution. Now, the way you use a normal distribution is you use... Um, the mean and the standard deviation to determine if things are rare or, or you know what their probabilities are. So we need for the calculator we need normal CDF. We're going to use the normal. We need a lower number and an upper number. So this says fewer than five. So that means lower number is just some big negative number, comma. The upper number is not five because um, in a binomial distribution. Uh, the things that are fewer than 5 are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So that would be the cutoff. So what we do here, because normal distribution is, uh, it doesn't require whole numbers like binomial does. We split the difference between this number and the next number down. So 4 is the first thing that would satisfy fewer than 5. Um, the, the first, the, the biggest number that is that satisfies fewer than five. So instead of starting at, or stopping at four, we actually stop at four and a half because all of these are the things that would round, uh, or anything below this would round down to four. Anything above this would round up to five. So we stop it at four and a half. You know, if this had been 12, we'd stop at 11 and a half. If this had been, you know, 90, we'd stop at 89 and a half. So just like half a unit less than what this number is. But then we need the mean and the standard deviation. If you remember, the mean in a binomial distribution is n times p. So this is like the mean in that notation. So n is 13 times p is 0.5. There's n times p. That's the mean. And then the last thing we put in is the standard deviation. The standard deviation is the square root of n times p times q. So that would be square root of 13 times 0.5, that's n times p, and then times q, 0.5 again. All right, so lower number, upper number, your upper number in this case is halfway between four and five, okay. uh, half lower than that. We'd use half bigger than that if it was like greater than five for the lower number. And then mean, the mean here is n times p, and then standard deviation, the square root of n times p times q. Okay, lower number, upper number, mean, standard deviation. All right, and then enter, there's our number, 0 0.1336 to four decimal places. All right, and that gives us our, our answer. Now just to show you, this was a binomial distribution. So if I would have picked binomial, I would have needed CDF for fewer than 5. So binomial CDF, N, uh, P, and X. So I need 13 is N, P is 0.5, and X is where we're stopping. So fewer than 5, we would, we would go to 4 if we were actually doing binomial. So this is what the input would be for binomial. And we see that it's not really that far off. So anyway, that's, that's what we're being asked to do with a normal approximation to the binomial. If these two things hold, n times p and n times q are both greater than or equal to 5, then we can use the, bin, uh, the normal distribution to estimate it. The adjustments we have to make for the normal CDF are the cutoff numbers, the betweens and the less thans and the greater thans. We have to adjust by half. Um, to, to make sure that we get the right amount of numbers, the right, the, the right probabilities, the right approximations.